and welcome back to Genesis on the OTE Gamers server. Um, this is episode 29. Um, last episode we worked on getting our armor set up. We also worked on our sword, which I have upgraded. It's got uh, Vampir two, Vampirism 2, Wrath 2, Educational 5, Sharpness 5, Vorpal uh, 2, and Soul Stealer 4. So this is a pretty rocking sword right now. Um, can't say. It's got 21.5 attack damage. Um, and depending on what mode you have it in, it is quite the weapon. So... Um, one thing I need to do is I need to enchant my Terror Shatterer um, before we go. I think I've got one of them books laying around here somewhere. Um, but also, um, got my eyes made. I just made four. Um, if I need to make some more during this episode, I will, which is not a big deal. The other thing, I got the fruit uh, from Batania. And to get this, you have to face the Tier 2 Gaia Spirit. And to make that, um, you simply need to make, I think it's called the Gaia Infused something. Uh, let's look it up really quick. Uh, as soon as I can find the mod. Um, and it is a lot harder. I actually died to it, even with this armor. Um, I still died. So I am still vulnerable. I am not, you know, invincible with this armor. But I did die. Where is it at? It looks like an ingot. There it is. The Gaia Spirit ingot. And it's just a terror, sp terror steel ingot with four Gaia Spirits around it. And he is a little bit... I, I almost had him beat, to be honest with you. But I was messing around with a sword. Um, trying the different modes out on it. And I got beat up by the mobs too much. Withered too much. And pretty much killed myself so um but it works great this sword works great on the wither i mean it just tears him up it's like maybe five hits and he's dead so um it's a good little sword but um yeah anyway so we need to get an enchant going and i want to see if i got a lot i need to get rid of some of these uh, efficiency 5 will work. And then, let's see, do I have a repair? Let's try this. Alright. Let's see if this repair works on here. Hopefully it'll keep from taking away some of the damage on here. And no, we can't use it. Okay. And see, I ran into that a lot with the, the sword... And the armor, there's some stuff you can't put on here because of certain um, enchants you have on here. Like the looting and whatnot. But I could have swore... Do I have my other awesome sword in here? Let's see if it's... I put it away. No. Hmm... I've got another killer sword laying around, but I can't remember... Oh, I know what I do with it. I stuck it in a chest and watch that frame rate drop. Wow. And see, this has got wrath, education... Okay, it's the XP's boost that I can't seem to put onto this sword. But I got uh, educational on this one, but this one has educational too, which I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway... Uh, so we can't put repair on there. I should probably put silk touch on it. And I've got a silk touch. Uh, silk touch won't work for now. Other way around, dragon. There we go. Alright. So now I've got a silk touch weapon. My, um... The reason for this is because of the stone blocks that are in... The, uh, the Outer Lands. I kind of like the look of them. They're called Ancient Blocks. So we are going to be looking at using 
possibly using those upstairs. And I have done a little bit of progress up there today. Um, not a whole lot. No, not going to show you just yet. Um, I will be... really need to finish cleaning up that landscape. Where is that little replica? Oh, hi, buddy. You want to die? Ow. I'm poisoned. I'm gonna get myself beat up before I even get into the Outerlands. And you see that little, the kind of little shimmer at the bottom of my screen? That is the runic shielding ticking off. So that's gonna be kind of an issue. And I'm gonna turn this sword into area mode because it seems to work better in area. Well, no, I'll keep it in salt mode for now until we come up with a lot of uh, um, mobs. But I did want to get... Do I have that? I know, I'm going all over the place. I'm kind of all over the place. I wanted to see... Concussion, mana, fallen knight. Alright, I'm going to take this with me just in case. Um... Yeah, just in case uh, we run into some fallen knights in there. There's one boss that summons a lot of them, and I kind of want to get this uh, soul shard set up. Not that I need it for anything in particular, but um, just to have it. Maybe get some armor and get it repaired and have a full set of armor. Okay, now here's the problem. We can't use this gateway. Because somebody has destroyed the Sinister Node on here. Um, these have to have an intact Sinister Node on these to work. Now, I don't know if there's a Sinister Node on top of the hill over there. And I don't know if it'll work if we take that, that node and put it on top of here if it'll work. But um, it's something I can look at later. But what we're going to do is I know there's another one over here. Let's see if anybody's tore it apart. I've noticed a lot of people have either damaged or tore down a few of the um, obelisks on this server. Which kind of stinks because now you can't use them. They're not good for anything. Alright, here it is. Okay, so this one has an intact node on it. So what we're going to take do with these eyes is on this uh, altar, we're just going to put one on each side. Okay, so now we got the four eyes on there. We're going to take our wand, um, and then we're going to right-click the altar. And there we go. There is the portal. Now, it's pucker moment, because I have never been in here before. Um... I think I want to play around with my Hex Curse one. See how that works out for us. Okay, here we go. Yet, like I said, I've never been in here before personally. I've seen a lot of people play in here, and I should have brought some stones because this is a maze. Um. Yeah, I do know if you break these stones, these glyph stones, you get uh, knowledge fragments. And if you break these crystals, you get balance shards, which is not a bad thing. But we need to... Do we get that? Okay, yeah, that glowing crested stone. And then, see, I kind of like that dark, rustic look of this stone, so I might harvest some of this later, but that is something I've never seen before. Oh. Yeah, those crabs like to jump on your head, and I'm getting beat up. 
I don't know where their little pucker hole's at. But I do know that these little runes right here like to zap you. And we're just going to place this. Now there is void all the way around this, so you can fall down out of the void. Which is not necessarily a good thing. Okay, so this is a dead end. And this is kind of like a giant maze, and I don't know why my mini-map is not showing anything. The first thing we are looking for is the keystone. Hmm. Now I believe there's a bunch of them crabs and little things in this room. I can hear them. I don't see them. I know I'm going to completely pucker when I actually find them. I can see them on my map, but I'm not seeing them. Oh, there they are. And they drop, um, now he see one of these, this is what you want to get rid of because they, that's what creates the little crab guys and they can be quite annoying evidently. So that was a dead end. Whoa, that was almost a void. Don't want none of that. Yep, and that's more void. Alright, so let's go back this way. And these urns also... You can get stuff out of these urns. And it's just simple little stuff. But, um... Let's see, let's start marking stuff here. Alright, so I've been through there. I'll probably remark that. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's not showing me anything as far as... Maybe that's where the keystone's at, and that's where we need to go. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, guys, so I'm going to run around in here a little bit and see if I can't find out where we need to go. And I will bring you guys back in. I'll probably be doing a time lapse for this one so you guys can kind of see me running around. Um, but yeah, uh, once I find something interesting, I will slow back down for you guys and I will be just running around here.
All right, we are back. Um, found the keystone. It was just floating up here. Um, I didn't actually mean to pick it up. I just... <laughs> I walked by it and it picked it up. Get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, so this is what the keystone, the rune tablet looks like. I call it a keystone. It's basically what it is. And this is the room that you're looking for. And it'll have the little pedestal in it. And then it'll be floating on top. And then you pick it up as soon as you come close to it. But these stones are kind of cool too. Ancient rock. I wonder if there's a way to make some of these stones. Nope. Don't want to do that. That's bad. That must be some kind of non-harvestable block from Tomcraft, but um, yeah. Anywho, so now we need to find the door. Um, so that's got to be the portal, so we must have to get over here somehow to get to it. So let's see. Let me run around some more and see what I can do about finding my way over there.
All right, we have made it to the door. This is what the door looks like. If you ask me, I think that's a pretty badass looking door. That is kind of cool. All right, so take this runic tablet. And here is where the boss fight comes in. So you guys ready? Let's see what boss we get. Put that in there. And open the door. Zog the Venomous. Okay. We are, I think, going to use... Let's go for the peck. Curse. Alright. So we got to get past that shield. And he's going to give me a bunch of random effects. Might have to get rid of Zelda first, maybe. Ooh, that's not good. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, he's following me. Okay, regen up a little bit. Ooh, electrified ground. That's no bueno. Let's 
see if we can sneak by it. That stuff's not good at all. Looks like he's zapped back into here. Might have to destroy that other... Get rid of that guardian. I think we've got to destroy that other obelisk. Okay, so he should be no longer gathering. From that. Oh, let's get out of here. Actually, let's go for our bats. Our bats play them for a little bit. not good to be having right now. Alright, we got him. His unnatural hunger is going to kill me. Alright, so that was the first boss fight. That was um, definitely... Interesting. I wonder if this charged ground will go away. So we get no loot. It's kind of a cool effect, but it does hurt. Still got that unnatural hunger going, I think. Yep, I got three minutes of that left. Let's see, these blocks aren't harvestable. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut the video here. I'm probably going to run around and do some harvesting of some of these blocks. Um, they seem pretty cool. Um, and I believe once you leave, you can't come back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. And uh, I'll meet you guys back uh, when I get ready to do the, um, the next boss, all right? I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm in the next dungeon. Um, <clears throat> this is what the keystone looks like, the, uh, the runic key or whatever it's called, looks like when you come up to it. So in my, with my ring of magnetism on, as I get close... It just picks it up, so just kind of wanted to show you guys. That's what it looked like. Um, I will be back as soon as I get to the boss. Right here is the second door. Get zapped by that stone back there. All right, so let's see what do we got this time. Oh, we got the crimson portal. This is the one. That I want to spend a little bit of time in. Oh, maybe I don't want to spend a little bit of time in there. Zap these guys from around the corner, maybe. Oh, no! Oh, I just got wrecked! Oh, that is not good! Um, huh. um, yeah, that, oh, that sucked. Oh, 
All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get back there. Otherwise, I just lost all of my stuff. So, um, I will be right back. All right, we are back in. I'm gonna see if I can run in and grab my stuff and get the. Oh nope, that's that guy. Um, which means we're over here. Grab all of our stuff. Run past that dude. Okay, let's take a second in here. I think I got everything back. Nope, I didn't get everything back. Let me run back in there. Ooh, that guy wants to wreck me. Okay, I got my ring of magnetism on. Let's see if I can get the rest of my stuff. Okay. Let's get the rest of my... Don't see... Okay, there's my amulet. Okay, so the big guy's out of there. Let's see if I can get rid of that door. What do I got? Now we're going super fast. Okay, so I've got the Aquarium armor on. And I'm just gonna spam. The fire's not gonna hurt me. It's gonna actually give me health with the Aquarium armor on. I'm just gonna spam that portal. go. That's the portal. Oh, that was some fucker moments. Alright, we still got the big guy to contend with. He is, um... Still hanging around somewhere. Get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, it was a good thing I got all that stuff back. But I want to use... Let's get... He's out there. I want to... How do I get 80 kills on that? Okay, we're going to throw a Void Armor in here for now. I, I want to grab this guy... Put vampire bats on this guy. Let's see if we can't.
What did he do? Glitch through the wall? Or was that just... I don't think that was him. I think he's over here. Where is he at? Okay, he's got to be over here. He must be wandering around. Got some food in my belly here. He's got to be back here. Somewhere. There he is. Uh oh, that's not a good place to be. Where did he go? Hey, quit running up for me. Yay, we've got him. What did we get? Oh, a heart canister. We got junk. We got ripped off. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here today. Um, we will come back tomorrow. I will probably do some work and. Uh, Wow, get out of there. Um, if I do more of these, I'll probably do the other ones off camera, maybe. And then, um, I will give you guys the recording later on. Um, I'll probably do like a boss thing. Uh, tomorrow, or for the next episode, go do a couple bosses, do the, the Thomcraft, or sorry, the Batania boss, and see if I can get some more of that loot. We'll do that for next episode. We'll do the last two bosses, and then, um, we'll do the, uh, Gaia Spirit 2, 2.0 fight, and, um, and then we'll go after that. We're gonna take a break from building for a while. I think we're just gonna go straight into the the twilight forest and go play around in there for a while i know there's a lot of cool stuff in there that uh we should get uh deconstruction table time wood um different things like that so um guys i will catch you n uh wait 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 outro gotta do outro so <laughs> if you guys like the video give me the hit that big thumbs up button if you're new to this series and you like what you're seeing so far, hit that big red subscribe button. Uh, until then, guys, uh, any comments, questions, leave them in the down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you next time. Laters.